So it's roughly about 10 to 9, I'm at my grandparents' house because um, we're having some major roof replacement work done at my house. So it's a bit loud and I want to make sure that my UCAT is uninterrupted. So I'm over here about to do my first mock. Uh, I've done a couple mini mocks so far and they've all come out okay. So it'll be interesting to see how a fully fledged mock comes because the exam is just 12 days away now. And I'm starting to feel the pressure, so um, I need to get a couple full mocks down and we'll see what happens. But um, for now, fingers crossed that it all goes well and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so just completed VR and there's 55 seconds until BM begins. Um, VR was a bit of a car crash. Um, all the passages were extremely long. I didn't have a lot of time to review my flag questions, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But either way, there are other sections that I tend to do okay with, so we'll see what happens with those. Okay, so just finished DM. Um, it was a bit of a mixed bag. I don't think I did too well, to be honest. Um, there were a few problems with the logical puzzles. Um, and believe it or not, a couple problems with the... Um, I think it was the, the Venn diagrams. It's a little bit difficult. They were a bit more contrived than I'm used to. So I need to work on those two things. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the logical puzzles still because I can't seem to get them down in good time. Uh, I actually ran out of time. I had to guess the last question. I didn't have any time to review my other answers, which is not good. So I'm just hoping that it's not as bad as it feels. We'll see. Anyway, on to quantitative reasoning now, and hopefully that goes better than DM and VR. <laughs> Okay, so starting to feel the burn quite a bit now. <laughs> I'm really stressed. Um, QR went uh, not brilliant, to be honest. There were a few graphs that just made no sense at all. Like, they were really difficult to figure out. And I felt very under pressure because I was kind of doing a bad job at managing my time. So unfortunately, there were four questions I had to guess, which is very, very bad. Um, there were a couple of other questions that felt okay. Some of them didn't really have much sense to them at all. Whether it's because I was panicking and I didn't have enough time to figure it out, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that as well. Um, my ability to manage time here seems to be broken, which is a bit strange because in the mini mocks I've been doing fine. I've actually been left with a massive surplus in my mini mocks, so I'm not sure what's going on there. This might be the extra time pressure. I'm not sure. Hopefully this mock turns out okay, but there's four seconds before I need to go, so see you later. So that was the... AR section completed. I finished it early, so my time management there was very good. I think I managed to answer them all correctly. Well, not all of them, obviously, but I think I managed to answer a decent amount correctly. I'm actually quite happy with AR today. Other sections, I'm really not. To be honest, today has really knocked my confidence. I'm starting to freak out a little bit, if I'm being honest. But right now, before I've even got the result, I feel like it's going to be a massive disaster. We'll find out. I think it's that exam anxiety coming into play here quite badly. Uh, which also affects my performance pretty badly as, as well, so there's also that to consider. Uh, I definitely need to get better at managing my emotions when it comes to, to doing these, because, you know, I can't afford to be thrown off in the middle of an exam. So, yeah, fingers crossed SJT goes okay. It's usually my strongest um, area, so let's go. So that's the situational judgment portion of the exam finished. I've just reviewed all the flagged questions and I've got like 12 minutes left. So we'll see what the result is. Uh, I'm just going to go through all the other questions in Situational Judgment just to make sure that I've answered them all the best I can. So VR and DM were pretty bad, I have to say. They were really quite brutal. Um, AR and QR, not too horrendous. Uh, QR had a few sticking points, as I discussed earlier. Uh, SJT was fine. Uh, there was quite a few edge cases that I felt a bit unsure about. Um, but that's usually the way, and I usually manage to get around that, right? So hopefully that's going to be the case here. Um, but yeah, overall, I reckon I'm in for about 600, possibly lower. I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up being 550 or 570. Um, I would be thrilled if I got 600, to be honest, because this felt like a very bad run. I had to guess a lot of questions. I was very slow. Um, I got quite flustered in a lot of areas. Hopefully not. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. Maybe this is the exam anxiety talking, as I discussed in the previous video. But we'll find out. Um, this is only my first mock, so I'm just getting used to getting through, you know, um, two and a half hours. Well, nearly two and a half hours worth of content, because I did the yes, UCAT send, so. Um, yeah, 
we'll see what happens and fingers crossed it's a decent enough result because I could really do with the confidence right about now. So I'll keep you posted, we'll find out. Okay, so here goes nothing. As you can see, there is now nine minutes left on my timer. That's my SJT. Oh God, I, <laughs> I need to press end review. Uh, I'm not gonna wait for like 10 minutes for my result, but I feel very, very anxious about doing this. Not that, you know, waiting around and stewing for 10 minutes is gonna help anything, but still, let's go, end review. Are you sure you want to end this review? No, to be honest, but hey, let's find out. Oh my God, okay, let's go. Oh. I hate this screen, it's so nerve wracking. Oh God, it's looping. <laughs> I hate it when it does this, it's just... Ah, okay. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, that is definitely a relief, because I was... Bloody hell, I did really well in AR. <laughs> yeah, it felt like I did fairly well in AR, to be fair. SJT? Yeah, SJT felt a bit more difficult than usual, so that sounds about right. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm pretty upset about VR, because I usually do a lot better than that in my practice runs. This is a relief, believe it or not. I'm, this isn't a good score by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it is decent enough. I'm, uh, I'm okay with this. This is this is decent. For a first mock, I'm happy. Definitely. Without doubt. Uh, yeah, so far so good. So, with that, let's do a little autopsy on each section and figure out... Um, what's going on. So after having done a quick little autopsy, um, VR went wrong for the reasons I suspected. Um, the length of the passages kind of overwhelmed me a little bit because my dyspraxia, it gets really difficult to kind of like organize information in my head. That being said, I haven't actually scored outside of the standard mean for the score, so there's that. But DM was a car crash, for sure. Um, it did feel like it, so I'm not really that surprised. I got 12 correct and 13 incorrect, so that is really, really bad. I think it was possible for me to have done better there, for sure. I think what happened there was that I started to panic after having had that bad experience of VR. I felt a bit rattled by it. So I think that affected my performance in DM quite a bit. Um, plus my time management was very, very poor. Um, I was actually relying mostly on um, answering, like, a select few questions very quickly to buy me more time in the, the slower questions, which isn't ideal. So I need to get better at time management in DM again. So just maybe a bit more DM practice in the mini mocks just to get that up to scratch again. But I think it was probably just exam nerves because I know I can do better than that for sure, without a doubt. QR, yep, QR was okay. I think where I went wrong there was just some of the questions were worded a bit weirdly and it threw me. Again, I think it was mostly just down to, to um, exam nerves. So. I'm not too worried about QR. So long as I score on average around 630, 650, I'm happy. Even though my average practice runs that I've done myself have come out at around 670 to 730. So hopefully I can get it up to that, but we'll see what happens in reality with mocks. Um, abstract reasoning, like I mentioned earlier, was brilliant. Really, really, really good. 18 incorrect, 37 correct. Um, SJT, pretty happy. 44 correct, 18 partially correct, and 7 incorrect. So nothing to really complain about there. Um, overall, I'm around the average um, performance-wise on everything, uh, other than abstract reasoning, where I've gotten 8% above everyone else. and But that's then kind of evened out by QR, which is then 7% below everyone else. So it, it kind of evens out. So yeah, those are the results for today. I'm probably going to take the rest of the day off. We'll see. I don't know. I might feel like another mock tonight. <laughs> Not sure. But to be honest, I'll probably just spend that time practicing my worst section in the mini mock, which will be DM. I'm pretty confident we can improve this further. So this is only the first mock, uh, so we've got a couple more to do. Let's see where that goes. But yeah, that's the results for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more of my content, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Is what I would have said if I was done, which I'm not, so I decided in the end that I would do a second run. It is currently 7.20. <sighs> Let's hope for a slightly better result this time. Uh, I did try and do a VR mini mock earlier, but I got interrupted, so I had to cancel it. So let's just hope this goes all right, and that this time the DM and the VR comes out a little bit more, well, 
at a higher score, basically. So, yeah, I'm about to make a start. Fingers crossed it all goes according to plan, but we'll see. Mark two, ready to go. Okay, so, so far so good. That actually felt pretty good. Um, it felt like it might have been easier. The passages were still massive, but it wasn't too intimidating, I have to say. The questions weren't too horrendous, so hopefully that reflects in the results for that, but who knows. I didn't have to guess anything, and I managed to get about four minutes left, so I'm actually really happy with that. So we're now on to DM, so let's go. So DM went really well. I'm actually quite happy. Um, I ended up finishing with quite a bit of surplus time before flagged questions, and even after flagged questions, to be honest. Uh, there was only a couple of questions I really struggled on. The rest of it was pretty decent, I have to say. Really good. The logical puzzles, which I usually struggle with like crazy, seemed pretty straightforward. So maybe this mock is disproportionately easy. Not really that sure. But, uh, and you know, other sections could come back to kick me in the ass later on. <laughs> I have a feeling that AR might be really bad or something to make up for it. But right now I'm just hitting QR with 22 seconds to go. So let's see what QR has in store for us and keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so getting a bit darker and a bit later now. That QR was a total car crash. Um, it was mostly down to me messing up at the beginning. Um, I spent way too much time on one question. I panicked a little bit, so time was running out and had to guess a couple questions to try and catch up. I did get enough time to review a few of my flagged questions. I missed a few very stupid things, so I'm hoping that's not going to impact me too much. But yeah, QR in this section is basically a write-off for me as far as I'm concerned. AR next, fingers crossed, this is a better story, who knows. We are at 1 minute 37 seconds left on AR. Just reviewed all my flag questions. It wasn't great. Um, I've definitely had a better AR session than this. There's quite a bit of guesswork, more than I'd like. Some of them just seemed impossible to comprehend. Uh, I've gone back over them again uh, with the flagged review, but I just couldn't figure it out. So I need to look at those patterns after we're done. But yeah, I feel a little bit better about this than I do about QR currently, so we'll see what the outcome of, is of that, but I'm starting to get pretty tired now. Next up is SJT. So, it is now the next day. Um, didn't really have enough time to, to film the results, but basically, um, those are my results. Again, pretty much the same as last time, but a little bit better across the board, I think. I'm not sure what's happening with decision making at the moment. It's become a bit of a car crash, to be honest. Uh, I'm a lot happier with VR here though. VR is looking a lot better. DM is just a total car crash. I really need to get better at this. Um, so I'm probably gonna do some more mocks. I'm also going to look over the questions I failed on and try to sort of work out the answer for myself at my own speed to try and improve it. QR, that improved a fair bit, I think. Well, it felt a lot better anyway. Then we've got abstract reasoning, of course, which did fairly well. Not too bad. And obviously situational judgment ended up coming out of band one, which I'm thrilled about. So that's uh, that's pretty decent overall, to be honest. I just wish I could get a better DM score. So if I can improve that, I'll be a bit happier. But yeah, so far so good, I suppose. I did do one DM mock this morning and I got the same score, 500 to 600. So I need to iron out some problems there and they seem to the problems always seem to be in the same place in the exam too so i need to sort of figure out what exactly is going wrong that's it for the first two mocks i'll keep you guys posted with all the future mocks that i do today i'm having a day off from mocks i'm actually going to spend today revising where i went wrong so i'm going to do a little autopsy on decision making and find out what happened here and try and improve my score there but for now that is it for today thank you for watching and I will see you soon.